To make a head-up display, the first thing we need to do is create a new scene. So I'm going to click the plus, followed by new, and I'm going to name the scene head-up display, or HUD for short. I'm going to add a camera. Every scene must have at least one camera. I'm going to turn the 3D manipulator widget on, zoom back with the mouse wheel, and move the camera up. I'm going to view cameras, set active object as camera, zoom in with the mouse wheel, and go to the add menu and add text. I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to change the text to score. I'm going to go back to object mode and press S to scale and shrink that down a bit. I'm going to G to grab and move it down to there. I'm going to do Shift and D to duplicate. I'm going to go into edit mode and edit the text. Put this to be health. I'm going to go back into object mode. I'm going to convert both to mesh. So I select the text, object menu, convert to mesh. I'm going to go to the material button and I'm going to reuse the material, the aluminium material, just to give both a texture. And I'm going to grab this and put that there. Now we have to set up the object that will dynamically display the score. I'm going to go into the default view. I'm going to change to the head up display scene. I'm going to add mesh plane. I'm going to press G to grab and move that down. I will scale it later. I'm going to open up new window. I'm hovering, dragging over the white diagonal lines to open up a new window and I'm going to make that new window a UV image editing window. I'm going to image menu, open image, and I'm going to open an image of a font Arial Black. I'm going to go into edit mode and in the mesh menu I'm going to go to UV unwrap and I'm going to unwrap the plane. I'm going to press A a couple of times to make sure everything's selected. I'm going to press S to scale and I'm going to shrink that down. I'm going to press G to grab and move it over the first character. I'm going to hold down shift and middle mouse button and pan that into the middle. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. I'm going to press S to scale again. And I'm going to press uh, S followed by X to scale only in the X direction. And G to grab just to center that around the mapping around the first character. The mapping to the plane is upside down. One way of fixing this is to go to the UVs menu and mirror x-axis, UVs menu, mirror y-axis. In the object data for the plane, scroll down to the texture face panel and you must click text. Also change transparency to alpha. I'm going to the material button and I'm going to add a new material which I'm going to call text. And I'm going to the texture button and I'm going to add a new texture. The new texture will be of type image. I'm going to select the image of the font file and set the coordinates to UV mapping. I'm going to go back to game logic layout. I'm going to go into object mode. I'm going to press S for scale and I'm going to shrink that down and move it over. I'm going to do Shift and D to duplicate and I'm going to move this over a shade and bring that down and across. I'm going to click this little plus sign here to open up the properties panel. I'm going to add a property and it must be called text with a capital T. And I'm going to make it of type integer and give it an initial value of 10. I'm going to drag to close that up and scroll up so I can add some logic bricks. 
I'm going to add a message sensor, an AND controller, and a property actuator. This will listen for the message bounce, which is sent if the Android walks into a cactus. Connect these up, and we need to add minus one to the text value, to the property text. Now I'm going to do the same for the score display. I'm going to add a property which must be called text with a capital T. Make that of type integer, initial value of zero. Drag to close that panel. I'm going to add a message sensor, an AND controller, and a property actuator. This time the subject is add one, which is sent by a Coke can. Connect this up and we need to add a value of plus one this time to the property text. I'm going to go back to the game scene. I'm going to select the empty that I renamed game. I'm going to add a always sensor. I'm going to add an AND controller and a scene actuator. I'm going to scroll down, connect these up, and in the scene actuator, add overlay scene and add our head up display scene. Now I'm going to test the game and I'm going to walk into the cactus and our health goes down. When it gets to zero it should display our uh, rest in peace and it should then reset the level. It hasn't reset the health to 10 so there's a little bit of work to be done there. If I collect the coke cans um, the score goes up and when I connect the final coke can it should display the splash screen. It does but it displays the head up display as well which isn't ideal. To fix the problems I've added this logic brick that removes the head up display when the health falls to zero and the death scene is displayed and when the score is three and the final scene is displayed. I've also had to add a logic brick to the death scene just to when the level is restarted to redisplay the head up display and in the head up display for the health when it falls to zero a property uh, sensor will sense that and reset the value to 10. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the start file, the end file and the font file at my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.